All right, guys, we've got an amazing little uh, boys' toys thing today. We've got the quadcopter. So, out of the box, it's a really sleek, compact design here, but the amount of functions this thing has is unbelievable. So, basically, you've got some spare rotor blades, you've got a small screwdriver to swap it over, spare battery and chargers, user guides, and box. So, the design of the quadcopter is kind of like a sports car, has LED lights at the front and the back to give it a really sleek design and it looks good swinging through the air. So, pretty uh, compact design actually. You've got the fold out rotor blades, four of those. So it's super convenient, you can even fit it into your pocket and pull it out when you want to take aerial photos. And then to simply change the battery, just unplug that one there and this can plug into your charger. So simple. Into your USB, so laptop, power bank, everything. So we're going to show you today how some of these functions work. Um, in terms of your remote control, put that one back in there, your remote control also stored easily inside the quadcopter. So this just slips out, put it on the table. Okay, so we're gonna take this bad boy for a spin. I've got the remote here and the quadcopter. So I'm gonna first turn the quadcopter on Hold down for a couple of seconds, you'll see the flashing lights here. Then I want to use the switch on the side of the remote, turn it on until I see the red light there. Now, what you want to do is push it to the left, you'll then see the lights flashing, and then you want to push it to the right, hold it down, and then the quadcopter is gonna start going. Now, in order to increase the speed, you want to start using this toggle here. So if we try that again, and then turn it on, we can increase the speed by using the back. And then decrease by pushing down. So this is how the basic controls work. And in order to move it left or right, it's actually a matter of just moving the remote like this and if you want it to come back you gesture back with the remote and the quadcopter will come back and if you gesture forward with the remote the quadcopter will actually move forward so this is how you can control the device from the joystick and if you left or right it will swivel the quadcopter and what we're going to show you later is you can actually control this using your mobile phone so we'll show you the app and all the different functions of the app and how you can use this camera at the front to capture things like stunts or selfies from a distance or if you're going on a bike ride or doing some kind of activities and you want to take aerial photos then we're going to show you how you can use the app and the camera at the front here which is two megapixels and it's going to come out in 720 dp display so we'll get to that bit and show you how that's all going to work Okay, so I've just hit the app icon on my uh, phone, so easy to download, you can scan the QR code on the user guide for uh, Apple or Android, so iPhone, Android, uh, it has apps for, for both. So we're going to start the app and you're going to come and see this dashboard here. So. We've got a lot of options here and once I connect this to the Wi-Fi I'm going to be able to access the camera from the quadcopter and view the camera here. But just to be clear so we can see the app here, I've turned the camera off. We'll connect to the Wi-Fi in a minute. So I'm going to open all of the options and we're going to go through the first view. So you have camera. So this is going to allow you to take a photo once I've connected to the Wi-Fi. Video, which is going to uh, help me to take a video while I'm flying the quadcopter. These are the files so you can access them at a later date. This is to uh, move the camera up and down. We have calibration functions. Um, this is going to turn the 
controls on and off. So this is gonna help me to go higher, to go lower, back and forwards, left and right. So it's a really easy to use interface and you can just scroll around these and these are gonna help you to control the quadcopter. So reverse, once we've got the camera in there, this will flip the screen. 3D will actually split the screen, I'll show you later, into two. So you can use a VR headset and view the, uh, the camera from the quadcopter in, in VR. This option here is gonna help you to rotate it, so it's gonna do a 360. This is gonna help you to calibrate, so when it's hanging in the air, you can press it, it will go back to normal. This option will help you to go sideways. So instead of just hovering in the one direction, this is gonna move sideways on angles. This here is a one click landing. So if you wanna land it, you can just press this once and it's gonna land on the ground. This is an amazing function here. This is the 360 button. So this is gonna actually do a full rotation 360 while it's in the air. So just imagine the action shots you can get with that. It also has the option to record sound. So if you have that, you can record sound on your videos. This is the emergency stop, which will just kill the engine. And then obviously you've got your elevation, so to go up or down. So there's a lot of options here, and then when we turn the Wi-Fi on, I'll show you some of the views and what it's gonna look like on the screen. Okay, so we're gonna connect to the Wi-Fi now. So let's uh, find our Wi-Fi settings. You want to look for HTS. There's no password. Connected. Back to the app. Let's get it started. So as you can see, we've got the camera here, so... Hello. You can see it there. Now, this is gonna take a photo. Boom. Camera. Start recording. It's only gonna stop once you press that again. Let's turn all the controls on. So this is the full display that you're gonna get when you're gonna start driving. So in terms of the reverse, this is gonna flip it upside down. 3D, you're gonna be able to use your VR headsets. And all the other functions. So this is gonna be really awesome and really interesting when you get started, when you get flying. You'll be able to see what's going on at the same time. So there's a lot of functions to play with and I definitely recommend to have a look at the user guide and the manual before you start flying your drone around, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. So one important thing is you're only going to be able to use the app when your controller is turned off. So make sure your controller is off, then you'll be able to connect to the Wi-Fi and access your quadcopter on the app. So make sure you have done that first, and then you'll be able to use all of the controls and we'll be able to get started.